Hi, the new version of VSDC is out, and we are thrilled to introduce Time Remapping, the new feature that has become available for object movement. Time Remapping allows you to change object movement speed and direction for a selected section on the movement map. Let's see how it works. Create a new project and add a new object, an image, a video, a piece of text or a shape. We're going to use an image here. Double-click the object, select the Movement tool and create a movement vector. Left mouse click the movement layer to open the properties window. We want to access the movement effect settings and more specifically the time remapping parameter. Here you can quickly apply the parameter change option and select any template from the menu to see how it's going to change the movement speed and direction. But let's make a few steps back and have a more in-depth overview of the feature set. What you see here is a graph of the object movement. So, in our case, we've added an image, and by default, its duration is 10 seconds. Now, the zero second point, the first keyframe, is the beginning of the movement vector. Meanwhile, the 100% point is the last keyframe on the graph, which is also the end of the movement vector. If the X axis reflects the movement duration, the Y axis reflects the time duration for the object. The graph we have by default is a consistent original object movement speed from point A to point B. And this is how we can mix things up. Suppose you want the object to go back to point A after moving halfway through. To achieve that, create a keyframe in the middle of the graph and drag the point B to zero. This is what happens here. Our image was moving from the first keyframe to the new keyframe we had created. Then, instead of continuing the movement, it started heading back. Why? Because the second part of the graph now goes back to the point zero, which is the beginning of the movement vector. In other words, around the y-axis, the beginning and the end of the movement trajectory have become the same. Here is another example. If you apply the zigzag template from the menu, you'll get an object bouncing back and forward between the sides. Now that you have a basic idea of how the y-axis works, let's go back to the graph and see how you can change object movement speed for any particular section on the graph. For instance, suppose you want the object to reach the middle of the way, slow down for a sec, and continue with a slightly higher speed. To do that, Create a keyframe, let's say right in the middle, and then add another one a second later. Make sure they are on the same graph line or they have the same keyframe parameters. And then drag the second keyframe a bit down to make this section flatter. See what happened? The speed goes down. And it works the same way if you want the object to rush through a certain part of the trajectory. In this case, you just need to create a sharper angle with the second keyframe. Ok, now let's make things a little complicated. Go back to the main timeline tab and create a couple more movement vectors. Then open the remapping graph. Notice that as soon as you created additional vectors, the graph became somewhat divided with light grey rectangles, each rectangle representing a vector. If you create keyframes precisely where the rectangles merge, you'll be able to easily adjust speed for each movement vector. However, here's the nuance. Let's say you've created the keyframes and adjusted the graph, but then you decided to adjust the movement vectors as well. Well, when you open the graph again, you'll notice that the keyframes aren't in the right places anymore. The object coordinates in the scene have changed. The duration of each vector has changed as well, which means you'll just have to drag the keyframes manually to make them match the beginning of each vector. Alright, this is it for today! We hope the ideas are already brewing in your heads as you're deciding how you're going to use the time remapping feature. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Cheers!